Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Now, calves are up 40. That would make 11 consecutive YouTube videos that I've cashed. 11 in a row. We're scorching hot. If the Spurs cover later tonight, that game just started, that'll make 12 straight YouTube winners. Smoking. In this video, though, we're talking NFL Thursday Night Football. We got a big division rivalry here. We're talking Chiefs versus Chargers. Let's go. Welcome to The Source. The Source. The sewers. Hey, get the sewers. All right, we got Kansas City on the road in LA here to play the Chargers line. It's Chargers plus four. Um, early action all over the Chiefs, but check out the money. 44% of the money is on the Chargers. That means there's some sharps out there that really like the Chargers because like 77% of the bets, uh, percent of the tickets are on the Chiefs. Yo, so check this out though. From Tuesday morning to Tuesday night, we get an 8% money shift towards the Chargers. Books react heavy to it. They drop the line from four all the way down to three. And that's where we're at now. We're still at Chargers plus three. It looks like the money, the money may be shifting back towards Kansas City, but overall it's pretty even here. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. Now, according to the analytics, check this out here. The line for this game should be Chargers minus 3.11. But if you run the exact same model using the analytics from the last three weeks instead of the entire season, then we're looking at Chargers plus 2.2. So if you're using the full season, as your model, then it's a six point lean on the Chargers. But if you're using the last three weeks, then it's just a, point, a point 0.8 point lean on the Chargers. So obviously that tells us what we already knew, the Chiefs are red hot. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown of this game. We'll start with the Chiefs. Uh, like I said, like we all know, Chiefs are hot right now. They've won six in a row, uh, four and zero against the spread in their last four. They've covered four spreads in a row. Very impressive, they look great. I actually think they have four double digit victories in a row, if I'm not mistaken. The most impressive part though, it's not even Patrick Mahomes doing it. Mahomes doesn't even look that great. It's the defense, man. This Chiefs defense out of nowhere looks great. And yes, this is the same Chiefs defense that about five, six weeks into the season were on pace to set historical, a uh, historically bad, no, they were off to the worst start in NFL history as far as the defense goes. Now they look like a top three defense in the NFL. In the past six games, the Chiefs are allowing just 10.8 points per game. 10.8, under 11 points per game. And oh yeah, they forced 16 turnovers in that same time span. 16 turnovers in six games. That's nearly three turnovers a game. But hold up, now they meet their division rival, a team that beat them earlier in the season, a red hot quarterback in Justin Herbert. In the last four games, he's averaging, hold on, I wrote it down, I don't have it memorized. In his last four games, he's averaging 320 yards and 2.75 passing touchdowns per game. So Justin Herbert, this young Oregon duck, seems to be turning his season around. It's looking like he's gonna have a great year. Now, my question for Justin Herbert, and I'm a big Justin Herbert guy. I loved him in Oregon. I was the one saying he was the best quarterback in the draft. Um, big Justin Herbert guy. That being said, in these last four weeks, who is he putting these numbers up against? Because he's played the Giants, the Bengals. Now, the Bengals are good against the run. The Bengals are not that great against the pass. The Broncos and the Steelers, the Steelers defense has completely collapsed. So other than Denver, whose defense is just okay against the pass, it's, like, it's like top 12 against the pass. So other than Denver, Herbert's gone up against some really bad teams. So I'm not taking any credit away from him. He looks great. Chargers offense seems to be rolling, but we have to take into consideration who he has played. Now, another thing we have to take into consideration with this Chargers offense, you can make an argument that their best player, well, probably not their best player, but other than Herbert, maybe Keenan Allen, he's one of the best players on that offense. Rashawn Slater, he plays left tackle for him. You might not know who that is. That's their first round pick. He's a rookie this year, and over the course of the entire season, he's a possible Pro Bowl candidate. He's allowed just 12 quarterback pressures and just two sacks this whole season. If offensive lineman had a chance of winning offensive rookie of the year, his name would be up there, right with Mac Jones and Jamar Chase. Like He's having that good of a rookie season. He's out for this game. So the Chargers are gonna be missing their best offensive lineman. And to make matters even worse for the Chargers, in the past three weeks, they're 29th in the NFL in sacks allowed. So this team is already struggling to protect Justin Herbert. Now you take away their best pass protector against a Chiefs defense that's coming after the quarterback right now. This could be really bad news for the Chargers here. Justin Herbert could be under a lot of pressure. Just to give you an idea of how well the Kansas City Chiefs are rushing the passer right now, on the whole season, this isn't just in the recent weeks when they got hot. On the whole season, 
The Chiefs are second in the NFL in quarterback uh, hurry percentage, fourth in the NFL in quarterback pressures this year. So this team has been getting after the quarterback, especially in the last five or six weeks when that defense has gotten hot. It's gonna be a struggle to play this team without your best offensive lineman, your left tackle. So who am I betting in this one? I'm sure you've already figured out from this video, I'm all over the Chiefs here. Number one, they're in a revenge spot. The Chargers beat them earlier in the year. This is a division rivalry. I, I promise you, Kansas City hasn't forgot about that game. Number two, the Chiefs are one of the hottest teams in the league. As I said, six consecutive wins, four straight covers. I mean, I have in my power rankings, I have them right up there with Green Bay, Tampa Bay, Kansas City. I think those are the three best teams in the league. I think I'm getting the much better team here. I know a lot of people are worried with that line dropping down to three, that this might be some kind of trap. I'm not worried at all. I'm glad it's down to three. Um, I love this bet here. Give me the Chiefs minus three. Let's lock that in. Final ticket posted on kylecrums.com, 4.30, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. It'll have my bet of the day, a couple parlays of the day in different sports. Top my favorite bets in every single sport. Posted right on the website, 4.30, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, injury updates, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I'll definitely post it on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check one of those three platforms out before you place your bets. We are in week 15 of NFL already, and this week is, this is gonna be a great week for football. A lot of playoff implications here, and it starts off with a banger on Thursday night. Chargers Chiefs, that's dope. Uh, let's start, let's make some money this week. We've been hot as hell in NFL. I think we're up 21 units in the last five weeks or something crazy. We've been so hot in NFL, let's keep it rolling. I'll talk to you on Twitter.